All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. I'm back at you again with another lesson, and this one is going to be entitled Truth. All right, Truth. What is the meaning of truth? All right, Truth is the quality, the quality, the quality or state. Of being true that which is true or in accordance accordance with fact or reality let me read that one again that which is true or in accordance with fact or reality a fact or belief that is accepted as true all right so truth is fact all right the Hebrew word truth is our mouth all right, a math, and it's fact. One plus one equals two. That's a fact. That's truth. All right. History. All right, is a fact because it's his story. Okay, it's accounts that were written down to keep record of the past. Now today we have uh, cameras, video uh, recordings that can show truth. All right, somebody's doing something and it captures on camera and you rewind it back and look at it, you will see the facts, the truth of what happened. We have the same thing, amaf, truth. All right, but it starts with the Lord's hope for elect and, and their faith and the gift of faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have given them. All right, so this, work, this lesson is for the elect, the Lord's hope for elect. So let me go into a quick quick precepts i jotted down i'm not going in order i just saw them i thought it was was nice to go into a lesson so i jotted them down and i just want to go through them this is psalms chapter 15 verse 2 it says he that walketh uprightly and walketh righteous and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart he that backbiteth not with his tongue nor doeth evil to his neighbor nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. So the point is in verse 2. It says, He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. Who is that? The Lord's whole for elect. Uprightly and working righteousness. What is righteousness? Okay, keeping the ordinance and ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. All right. The truth. Let me go into another one. This is in the book of uh, 1 John, chapter 3, verse 18. It says, My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. So it's not all about just being a hearer of the word, but it's about being a doer of the word, putting forth the action. Okay, Yahweh Shai said that he that loveth me will keep my commandments. He that loveth me not will not keep his commandments and sayings. All right, because what love is, is an action. Okay, you can say you love someone in the emotion. All right, because you care for that person. All right, but you can show your love by your action. And that's what love is. It's more so an action more than just feeling. You know, you, you could you could say the right things, but... Are you doing the right things? So, my little children, let us love, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. All right. So now let me go to 1 John, the first chapter, in the sixth verse. It says, If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not and do not the truth. So you are the individual that claim to be an Israelite. You know, you may be an Israelite, but if you not sincerely repent it and put away the old man, you know, being renewed in the mind and being washed by the word, all right, then it says, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie, meaning you're a liar, man. All right, you're a hypocrite. It says, and do not the truth. It says, but if we walk in the light, as he that is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, 
and the blood of Yahweh Mashiach, his son cleanses us from all sin. All right, so let's just move on. This is uh, still in John. All right, this is uh, the uh, this is uh, John eight and thirty one. It says, um, then said Yahweh Shai to those Jews which believe on him, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. All right. See, we know what one plus one is. One plus one is two. You know, the Yahweh Shai's word is, is one plus one, okay, which equals two. Because by this word, we understand who we are as a people now. We understand what happened to us in history and what's happening to us in this present day, which is a great gathering of the Lord's elect, okay? By the spirit of the Lord's mouth, which is the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, you know, given to the prophets to speak the Holy Spirit, the word, the gospel, which gospels mean good news to the world. So we know what's going on. So it says, and ye know the truth and the truth shall make you free. All right, we're no longer wrestling with our manner and how we conduct ourselves in the way that we journey in this world. We no longer wrestle with, um, you know, doubt to uh, not believe. We believe. All right, we know who's the enemy. Okay, we know who's who's the the, uh, the the ones that are asleep among our people. We know who are the potential hopeful elect. All right, the truth shall make you free. We know what, what you can do to uh, go and heal the body if you're sick, praying to the Most High, all right, and, and going to the medicines of the earth, which is the herbs. All right, we know these things, so the truth shall make you free. We no longer plague with that demon, you know, of thought, which is really doubt, you know, what ifs. We're not doubting or what ifing, okay? We knowing. Let me say that again. We're not doubting or what ifing. We're knowing, okay? Like the movie, The Knowing. You know, we know. Knowledge means to know. So anyway, let's continue on. Let me go into John 14. John 14 and verse 6. It says, Yahweh shall say unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So Yahweh Shai is our way. And don't let nobody take that from you. Okay, because you got seducing spirits, wicked demons, men of the circumcision that will teach you lies because they're set up, you know, to be those wolves in sheep's clothing, as the scriptures say, as Yahweh Shai prophesied. All right, even back then, even now, you know, those ravishing wolves, man, you know, who mouths must be stopped telling you to go and take the V. Okay. Or just teaching false doctrine, telling you that the mark of the beast is not the RFID microchip, which in fact, the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. Okay? So those are just little examples. It says, Yahweh shall say unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you got to go through Yahweh Shai. You got to make mention of Yahweh Shai. You got to pray unto Yahweh Shai. You have to worship to Yahweh Shai. Okay? Matter of fact, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. The name itself, uh, all right, puts one in sync, you know, into one. All right. Yahweh in the name of the Son. Okay, the Father in the name of the Son. That's why we say Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Barakata. All right. So let's move on. This is uh second Tim. Second Tim Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. It says, study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Okay, rightly dividing the word of truth. Seeing what the Lord was saying to us, and when we're reproved, we go out and report. So he may that run when readeth it, all right? When he readeth it, he may run this race, okay? So that's rightly dividing the word of truth. Understanding the time that we're in. The scriptures say, measure thou the time diligently in itself. So study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. 
rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay, it's all about the truth. What is truth? Truth is fact. These are facts, man. The scriptures are written for our learning. All right, to bring us back into remembrance. Uh, let's go into John again. All right, it's the book of John, chapter 4 and 24. It says, Yahweh is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So it's not all about the outward appearance, because you know that you're an Israelite, and now you, you rep in Israel. It's about the spirit with, with, with lies within you, which really goes into that, that sincerity. Are you honestly serving the Lord? Did you count the cost? Do you know what you're up against? Do you know what you're into? Are you, really, are you out there really teaching for the Lord's elect to, to receive the word? Or are you doing it for filthy lucas? Or are you doing it for vainglory? You know, are you doing it for any type of carnal, you know, matter? We're doing it in faith. We're doing it in sincerity, you know, and, you know, to wipe the blood off our hands so that the Lord may cover us so that we may live in the shadow or let's say abide under the shadow of the almighty when the trouble do come so that we may be delivered. You know, you got sincere brothers and you got false brethren. All right. So Yahweh is the spirit and that and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. So if you worship Yahweh by Shemiah Shine Spirit Truth, you're going to teach the right doctrine. You're going to research what it is, what's the truth. You're going to start eliminating what's not right. And you're going to just teach the, the facts. Okay? Teach the facts. You ain't going to get upset. You ain't going to shy away because when you're teaching facts, other people are mad. You know, isn't it the saying, the truth hurts? You know? Most women get hurt by the truth because they don't live, they don't live according to reality. You know? A lot of men that's emotional, they don't want to hear the truth and it hurts them because they don't live in reality. They don't want to be told about themselves. Okay? So we're going to teach the truth. All right? A uh, few more, two more. Let's go into the book of Psalms. All right, Psalms 119 and, and 30. All right, it says, I have chosen the way of truth. Thou judgments have I laid before me. So it's all about, you know, you having this chance to choose. We do have a chance to choose, all right, in a sort of, in a sort of way, even though we really don't have a choice because we do according to what the Heavenly Father want us to do, according to his way. He make our minds, you know, go in the paths of his way. He stir up our minds, okay? He seals our instructions when we sleep. As the scriptures say, but you do have a choice in a sort of way because you can choose whether you're going to do righteously or wickedly. You know, this is wrong. Are you still going to do it? You know, this is right. Are you going to do what's right? Right. So it says, I have chosen the way of truth. Thou judgments have I laid before me. All right. And it's my last one. So I got to wrap it up. Uh, one. Let's see. OK, I got a few minutes. Uh, James 1 and verse 18 it says of his own will beget he us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures that's beautiful that's music man call halal la yahweh bashim yahweh which is in hebrew means all praises to the father yahweh in the name of the son yahweh shah all right all praises to yahweh bashim yahweh shah it says of his own will begat he us with his word of truth that's what's happening the elect is being gathered by the word of truth by the word of yahweh all right by hashem yahweh shai it says that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures meaning the first created okay that that cluster of great that the lord kept to himself that great uh uh, uh great the great seed man all right of his people the elected of his own people because there's an election within the election okay israelites are the uh, elected chosen but there's election that's gonna that's gonna be delivered among the chosen well among the election all right he that got ears to hear let him hear man all right because it's all about the elect all right so we're in that race you know to be the elect lord's willing we be those men 
you know, you few sisters out there and those who follow with sincere heart, may you be, you know, that elect, you know, keep putting those prayers up. All right. So and, uh, and those curses up as well upon this place, Babylon the Great and the wicked. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.